प्लांट पैथोजेनिक निमेटोड्स द निमेटोड्स विच कॉज डिजीज इन प्लांट आर एंडाइटल्ड एज अ प्लांट पैथोजेनिक निमेटोड्स इन दिस इलेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द मॉर्फोलॉजी एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ प्लांट पैथोजेनिक निमेटोड्स लेट अस स्टार्ट इंट्रोडक्शन अपीरियंस the nematodes are worm like in appearance however they differ taxonomically from the true worms as the true worms possesses two bands of muscles but nematodes have only single band of muscles which is longitudinal these muscles help in movement habitat Many species of nematode live part of their lives in the soil and they feed on roots and underground stem. They obtain their food with the help of spears which is also known as stylet and they cause variety of plant disease throughout the world. The annual worldwide losses caused by nematodes on the life sustaining crops was estimated to be about 11% and this includes all the grains and legumes banana cassava coconut potato sugar beet sugar cane sweet potato and yam while losses for most other economically important crops are about 14% and it includes the vegetables fruits and non edible field crops on the basis of habitat the plant pathogenic nematodes are classified into two types ectoparasite and endoparasite those nematode species that do not normally enter the root tissue but they feed the plant parts only from the outside such nematode species are known as ectoparasite while endoparasites are those nematode species that enter the host and feed from within both the ectoparasites and endoparasite nematode species can be either migratory or sedentary migratory means they live freely in the soil and feed the plant cells without be becoming attached or they move around inside the plant these migratory nematode plant species enter the plant and after a while some while they come out of the plant and live freely in the soil while sedentary nematode plant nematode species once entered the plant they do not come out of the plant and they live their entire life in the plant ectoparasite nematodes include the ring nematodes and the dagger stubby root and sting nematodes endoparasitic nematodes include the root knot cyst and citrus nematode all are sedentary classification all plant pathogenic nematodes belong to the phylum nematoda most of the important genera of nematodes belong to the order talenkida but few genus belong to the order dorylamida some important genus example anguina globodera heterodera melidogyne comes under the order talenkida while paratrichodorus trichodorus comes under the order dorylamida morphology and main characteristics of nematode first is 
body length nematodes are very small about 300 to 1000 micrometer long while some of the nematodes are up to 4 mm long and about 15 to 35 micrometer wide their small diameter makes them invisible to the naked eye but they can easily be observed under the microscope shape in general the nematodes are eel shaped but they are round in cross section the picture shows the body of female nematodes these nematodes have smooth unsegmented body and they do not possess legs or any other appendages however the females of some species of nematodes example melidogyne and heterodera they become swollen at maturity and they have a pear shaped bodies while the males remain vermiform in all the genera of parasitic nematodes this is a picture showing the lateral view of the head and the face view of the head the head uh, the head possesses mouth and this mouth is surrounded by six lips from all sides at the center of mouth stylet is present this stylet helps to puncture the plant cells and absorb the nutrients from the plant the lateral view of the head shows the entire stylet while the face view of the head shows the stylet tip present at the center of the mouth in the lateral view of the head we clearly observe the lip region and the two lips which surround the mouth face view of the head shows six lips and these six lips completely surround the mouth from all sides digestive system of plant pathogenic nematodes the digestive system of plant pathogenic nematodes consists of mouth esophagus intestine rectum and anus in this picture we will clearly see the stylet and the esophagus the esophagus opens into the intestine the intestine occupies the major portion of the body and it leads into the rectum and the anus in the cross section of nematodes we clearly observe the that the body of the nematodes are surrounded by a cuticle cuticle is a thick covering which covers the whole body of the nematode cuticle is marked by striations and cuticle molds when a nematode goes through the successive juvenile stages this cuticle is produced by the hypodermis which consists of living cells and extends into the body cavity as a four cords separating the bands of longitudinal muscles these longitudinal muscles enable the nematode to move the nematodes are coelomate individual they possess body cavity and this body cavity contains the flood through which the circulation and respiration process takes place the cuticular annulations are clearly observed on the cuticle
द रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ प्लांट पैथोजेनिक निमेटोड्स द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ वन और टू ओवरीज ओविडक्ट जुटिरस एंड बुलवा इन दिस पिक्चर इन दिस पिक्चर ऑफ फीमेल निमेटोड वी क्लियरली सी द ओवरी एग स्पर्माथिका यूटिरस एंड द वुलवा स्पर्माथिका इज प्रेजेंट इन द बॉडी ऑफ फीमेल निमेटोड्स एंड इट हेल्प इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ पार्थिनोजेनेसिस वाइल द मेल निमेटोड पोजिस इज द टेस्टिस seminal vesicle and a terminus a pair of copulatory spicules are also present in the male reproduction is of two type sexual and by parthenogenesis some species are hermaphrodite and these hermaphrodite nematodes possesses both male and female reproductive organ while in other species of nematodes the males are entirely absent and all the members of a species are female and reproduction takes place by the means of parthenogenesis only while in some nematodes both the male and female sex organs are present and these hermaphrodite individuals are usually not self fertile and they must mate but each individual lay eggs instead of only half of the population as when males and females are separate The life cycle of plant parasitic nematodes has a six stages egg stage four juvenile stages and an adult The egg hatches into juvenile and these juvenile looks very similar to that of the adult nematodes these juvenile grow in size and each juvenile stage is terminated by a molt all the nematode species has four juvenile stage with the first molting usually occur inside the egg after the final molting the nematodes differentiates into male and female the female can then produce fertile egg either after mating with the male or through parthenogenesis this life cycle from egg to egg may be completed within 2 to 4 week under the optimum environmental condition especially the temperature condition but it will take longer time in cooler temperature for for the readings i would like to suggest a book named plant pathology by george and agrios thank you